Welcome to D-Lab Electronics. We have another Class A amplifier build with tremolo. The heart of the amplifier is a D-Lab ECB-AT board. This time we're driving a 6CM6 tube and it's got deep tremolo. So we're going to do a demonstration and then we'll open up and I'll show you how she's built. All right, so as we've done in the past with the other tremolo demonstrations, I have an oscilloscope that's monitoring the speaker output. Now this is a head, so I only have an external speaker. I have a looper as the input. My controls are volume, tone, intensity, and speed. Let's bring it up with no tremolo. <laughs> Speed, speed it up a little bit. Go back to no tremolo. some really clean audio out of that 6CM6 tube. All right, let's pop it out of the cabinet. I've already removed the knobs and the lamp simply clips in up here in a little bracket. This just slides right out. As you guys know, I build these amps to fit in these old cabinets to give these things a new life and to give my amp its beginning of life. So it's built on a Hammond chassis. This is a 10 by 6 by 2 tube lineup, 12AX7. 6AV6 is the tremolo oscillator, and this time we're using a 6CM6 output tube. So the 6CM6 delivers the same audio quality as a 6V6. However, this is an $8 tube, whereas a 6V6 is about $35. The only limiting factor is this tube can only handle about 250 volts plate. The output transformer is a P-T31 5K primary, 8 ohm secondary. You can buy these for around $20 on AmplifiedParts.com. The power transformer is a vintage Stancor. Its output is 400 volt center tap with 6.3 volt AC for the filaments. Rear panel, got our power, fuse, power switch, input jack, this is for your tremolo foot switch, and of course the speaker output. Alright, bottom side tour, we're going to start over here on the power supply. This is a D-Lab Cub1 rectifier filter board. It's got the screen resistor and the preamp resistor, and that goes over and feeds the ECB-AT board. So all the busy work has been handled here. You simply run jumpers to your tubes, your controls, and your input jacks. Okay, another application of the D-Lab ECB-AT board. This time we're driving a 6CM6 output tube. The intent of these videos is to show you guys that this board can support any output tube that you desire. I'm gonna keep making these videos as time allows, but if you want to build one of these kits, I have the boards on my website or shoot me an email and we'll get a set out and you can start kit building.